Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyron. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Battle.net launcher on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac using Crossover. So Crossover is the compatibility layer. I'm going to be using version 21.1. In order to install Crossover, you can follow this tutorial, which I'll leave a link to in the description. What you need to do to actually get Crossover is to click the link at the top of the description of this video or the description of the tutorial. Here we're going to click Code Weavers and we'll be taken to the Code Weavers website. Then we're going to scroll down to here. Now, if you do decide to buy, you can click the Buy Now button. And I do recommend that you buy the Crossover Plus version. If you use the code Apple Gaming Wiki, you'll receive a 25% discount. However, you can also trial the software for free for two weeks. So you can also click the Try Now button. If you do, all you need to do is to enter your name and email address, and then you can download the trial. So here we're going to save the crossover file and press OK. Then when we go to Finder under Downloads, we're going to double click on the crossover zip that's just downloaded. And then what we can do is to drag and drop crossover into the Applications folder and then let go. So once Crossover is installed in an Applications folder, we're going to double click on it. And now we have Crossover open. So I've actually pre-configured this with lots of what I've called bottles already. You don't have to worry about this. What we're going to do is to go ahead and create a new bottle. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our Crossover and then click the Install a Windows application. And then we're going to type in the word battle.net. And then that's going to give us a selection here. We want to select the battle.net desktop app here. And this is going to select the installer and also the bottle as well. It's the Windows 10 64-bit bottle. So here we're going to press continue and then install. So whenever a dependency window comes up, just press yes and then just let that finish and continue. Here I'm going to press agree and install, close, next, accept, install, then finish. Yes, next, accept, install, finish. Yes, agree and then install, close. So now it's installing the actual desktop app itself. We're going to select the language continue. So here it's asking us to set the path. We're just going to press continue and just let that install. So the battle.net desktop has installed and all we need to do is to log into our battle.net account. So here it's asking us to scan for games. We're going to click close because we're going to download the games again. So we now have the ability to go ahead and download the Windows versions of these games and then run them through Crossover. Obviously not all of them are going to work, so please check out the Apple Gaming Wiki website for compatibility. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.